Dogs got their jackets on because it's cold. Hello, greetings from contentment. Happy winter, happy new year. Uh, this is the third week of January in uh, 2024, and uh, it's a beautiful morning. 17 degrees outside, uh, no wind, very mild and uh it should get up to about 40 today for the high eh, when it gets up to 40 it stays at 40 for about 15 minutes and starts dropping down again but um anyway just out and about today it's a saturday i get to uh do some cleanup here on the property which is so very needed after after we got the concrete poured uh on the house uh i decided i was going to relax for a while because i'd really been pushing get that done and we pretty much got the house pad cleaned up but now we've got to um you know stack some wood and stuff like that just get things pretty up around here and ready for more work and building um later on this year so that's what we're doing today just some cleanup around the property and the dogs are here to help you may Remember the blonde one is Reba, brown one's Roscoe. They got little jackets for Christmas. <laughs> they, they've they taken right to them, you know. The, when I say it's time to put your jacket on, they just come right over and stand there and let me do it. It's like they like them, kind of. But when they get warm, they can't wait to get them off. So anyway, let's get some cleanup done. Taking down the support with is holding these uh, solar array pilings here. Um, just have to come back with a grinder and cut off this piece of rebar and should be good to go this is the only hole that did not get filled completely we simply ran out of concrete look roscoe what are those what are those reba are those cows are those cows you gonna get them you're gonna get them roscoe look at the cows Cows. We have some visitors this February morning. About 20 of them. Some calves and some cows. And uh, I think they're attracted by the uh, chicken feed. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. How are you guys doing? Huh? I know, you're a little afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. But I do need to get a picture of your tags, if you let me. What are they going to do with the chickens, Roscoe? Huh? What are they going to do? What are they going to do, Reba? What are they going to do? Well, good morning, you Chip and Robert here with Contentment. Down in the cellar, doing some insulating, and we'll show you. <laughs> Don't get my face. This is the, it's a rigid foam insulation. It's a R10, and uh, that's really all we need down here for to meet energy code. And you notice it's only four feet down. That's because in a cellar or crawl space in this part of the country, that's how deep you need it. We don't want it down here because we want to keep the basement cool. So we want the coolness that comes from the earth to sort of, you know, permeate the basement. That'll, it should keep it around 55 degrees, we hope, year round. It's kind of like a root cellar, I guess. Yeah, this will be kind of like a root cellar where we try to preserve veggies and maybe cure some meat or something like that. So, so we want it to be a, a little cool and damp in here. Anyway. That's what we're doing today, just cutting pieces, sticking them in the cavities, and uh, then we have to put some fiberglass bat insulation up here, and then the basement will be insulated, then we'll go outside and do the, insulate the slab, uh, the, uh, the ground beam.
Well, here we are on our way for a hike. As you can see, the dogs are with us, and so is Chief. Chief is my daughter. Anyway, we're gonna hike up to the falls and see if we can see some frozen waterfall. Doggy. Oh, I There's a creek that flows right underneath this ice and snow. And there's a catchment pond down the way. We've got our crampons on so that we're safe walking on this ice. That's pretty cool. This is all, you can hear the water under it. It's pretty tall. We get some ice climbers who come up here and climb these falls in the winter. Sometimes I wish I had four feet. <laughs> there it is. It's pretty cool. There's the water. I don't know if you can see it. There's water underneath there. Flowing. Another part of the falls. Yeah. Poor doggies. Doggies don't have crampons. Pretty cool, huh? Aha, <laughs> literally. I'd love to get up there close. See the water? Uh -huh. The dog's day. Dog's made it. <gasps> Go up there, Reeve. Go see Roscoe. Go up there. <laughs> She's sliding. Whoa! <laughs> Look at this. Ice on the sides. Pretty, huh? What do you guys think? Huh? Pretty cool, huh? What do you think, Roscoe? Is it fun? Reeve, what do you think? Pretty fun, huh? See that water flowing underneath it. You can hear it all around, too. It's pretty. It's pretty in the winter. That's got to be about... 30 feet to the top of the ice there. That's about 35 feet from where I'm standing. So. Okay.
chip with contentment and look who's back it's the worm ski <laughs> worm ski where you been man you been i guess Alaska? you're wondering where i've been i, I searched to find the love within and you came back to let us know I did. you got a thing for us no. and you can't let go <laughs> All right, where you been? I've been in Alaska working as a cook on a train. And that's better than this? Uh, maybe. It's better pay at least. Oh, ouch! <laughs> that hurt. I pay what I can. Oh, anyway. Anyway, glad you're back. You Thank too. you for coming back. So, uh, Wormski has been milling lumber for us. And so far, he's eliminated one stack that was sitting here. And by the end of the week, he only has to get that stack, 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 and that stack. And then we'll be ready to, we'll have our lumber halfway milled. Nobody tell him, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know it's not going to happen. There's a lot to do. Uh, we're milling lumber because we're going to build our own eye joists for the house. At least we're going to try. So anyway, uh, it's almost time for you to go. Oh, but uh, have at it, man. I'll let you finish this log. All right. So this is what's been cut so far today and Wormsy's been out of here doing it mostly himself working with these really big logs and uh, so uh, we cut those two yesterday for practice he cut seven today and so if, if he can get seven a day hmm, it'll be a while before we get it all cut but hey I'm happy it's happening whoever watches this video these videos has got to just be thinking wow they are the most hick people I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that's Just us. Not the ones missing teeth. Not quite. Well, I would say, how many hicks do you know that do salsa dancing? A few. Do you? Probably, yeah. Really? I mean, I didn't know salsa dancing was a hick thing. I thought so. I thought it was for the sophisticated crowd. <laughs> Obviously, you'd be wrong. I guess, I guess I'm wrong. Well, there it is. I don't know, it's probably 60 logs or something like that worth of uh, cutting there and there. And it was all done by the Wormski. And, and yours truly. Yeah, Wormski. No, and yours truly. Yours truly means me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it means. I'm going to be pulling sawdust out of my eyes for the next three weeks. Here, this is good video. What is it? I said this is good video. Nothing wasted, dude. Uh, All right. Actually, there was a lot wasted. <laughs> so, all in all, Wormski. Good week. Good week. Got probably on average about nine logs of the day. Well, I went to see grandchildren, and it, two of them had birthdays last week, so we had two parties and hung out with family back there and then i came back here and i've done nothing she's coloring yep and folks believe me you want her to color because it's good therapy for her <laughs> that makes me sound really um i don't know something is that right yeah wormski i'd say so it's good therapy 
I like coloring. Well, I do like the color. What do you like about coloring, Mom? I don't know. I've always liked it ever since when I was a little kid. I'm not very good at it, but... She's a painter, folks. Not very good at that She's a either. painter and a musician. Not very good at it. And anything. she's a colorer. I mean, what, am I, what is it called? A jack of all trades? <laughs> There's a couple of working dogs there that are sleeping. Aren't you? Reba and Roscoe. You guys doing all right? <laughs> They're tired. Oh, that wind will wear you out. I'll tell you that. I think the wind's oh, probably 20 miles per hour right now. The 60 logs that have been milled. Uh, the wood's not all that great. It wasn't great when we brought it down out of the forest. We just got what we could, you know, that they had available. <clears throat> they wouldn't let us cut any, any living trees. We could only cut down beetle kill trees, which is okay. But you don't get as much wood out of them because they're, you know, dead standing timber. On the bright side, the timber is already seasoned. It doesn't need to sit and dry, air dry. It's already plenty dry. So that's good. It's ready to use after it's been, you know, milled. Um, but out of the 120 logs that we got, that we brought down from the mountain, at least 120, uh, the shorter ones will be used for firewood. So that'll be good. And then the longer ones um, that are big enough, we'll get timber out of for the house. We're going to attempt to build our own eye joists for the house. So those are rafter-like things made with OSB. Um, anyway, we're going to try to build our own. So, guess what? It's hump day, and it's trapping Oscar bird day. And each chip is going to remove this part of the pipe, the stove pipe and the chimney pipe or whatever it's called. And that bird is going to fly out and attack me like they used to when I was a kid. Now we've got to open the screen door too. Oh yeah. Leave that wide open in the screen door. I don't want any screaming, okay? I'll try not to. Please no screaming. Can you see him? No. He's hiding. Uh, as he should be. Open this up. Oh there, there he, he is. is. Okay. Up, fella. There you go. Ooh, that's not a that's not an, is it an Oscar that's all black? I don't know what it is. Oh, it's not. And it's not an Oscar. It's a cowbird. Yeah, it's not an Oscar. It's a cowbird. Come here, dogs. Come here. No. Puppies. Come here. Leave them alone. There he oh, goes. Oh, my gosh. He got out. How <laughs> in the <laughs> heck? Reba's <laughs> like, and stay out. <laughs> Well, the doggies almost had a snack. We almost, we could have had a snack. We could have had smoked bird. But um, the things we do to save the wildlife around here, I'll tell you what. Nick, hey, give me an excuse to clean out the top of the stove. Wormski. Yeah. What are you up to? Screwing some holes. Okay. Our drilling some holes for what for the jig i did call it a jig but then i realized that jig is not the appropriate word how dare you wrong word jig is something you dance a little of 
No, this is our fixture for the eye joists. We're going to attempt to build our own eye joists. Let's see if we can get a little clamping. Oh, yeah. That's not going anywhere. See, I can't even pull it out of there. It looks good, at least. We'll see if it works. Well, it's a beautiful morning here at Contentment. We had a light snow overnight, just a trace. I was able to just come out here and bump the panels and all the snow came off of them. But, uh, yeah. So, we got some more lumber set up here next to the mill to, uh, to get ready to mill it. The piles are coming down, but uh, we the availability of... Uh, of uh, sawmill blades has got us in a bit of a bind so we may run out of blades before i before i run out of uh wormski's time he's here for the week uh to help complete this task but it looks like it's not going to get done at least he's not going to be able to do it the mill let me talk about the mill here for a little bit we bought this mill second hand we were the third owners the first guy apparently who owned it used it for you know a month for a project and then sold it to an Amish guy who was going to use it in his business, sawing up aspen logs and sending it out, sending them uh, east for rustic furniture manufacturers. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> he used it for about two months, he said, and then he realized, you know, for his production level, it just couldn't cut it. And that makes sense because this mill is more for like a homeowner or, or a hobbyist or someone like that. <clears throat> this isn't really the kind of mill you make money from. But, uh, you know, it's taken a little bit of work to get this thing uh, leveled and trued on, on a sand, you know, foundation. And uh, we had to replace the motor because the 9 horsepower Kohler engine in there is such a dog that I could never keep it running. And uh, so we wound up going and buying a Hobo Freight Predator engine and put it on there and it's been doing fine so i don't know would i recommend a woodland mills mill hmm. it's okay so roscoe has a new thing going here where whenever there's a truck door open he wants to climb in on the seat and he will literally stay out here all day just laying on the seat if we let him so say hello to your audience roscoe well, good morning we've had some very high winds the past 24 hours winds getting up to oh, at least 50 mile per hour gusts we don't have an anemometer out here so we can't tell you for sure but uh, yeah um, and you wouldn't think that winds could do this but winds did tip over a 3,000 pound mobile solar generator. It's like there's no damage, but, oh, that's some ice. Ice storm along with that wind. worked Buzz back and forth till finally Buzz is not even facing south anymore. I rocked it over and then I guess it was just enough to tip it up. Well, I got one more thing crossed off the list, uh, but not in the way or for the reason I wanted to, and it's this. <clears throat> you may remember this from a, a, another video some time ago. Boy, over a year ago. I picked this up at an Amish auction. It's a uh, it's an RV generator, and uh, it ran, but it wouldn't produce electricity. And so I was going to diagnose it and find out why, because I picked it up really cheaply. Um, but then when I started <laughs> to run it, the fuel pump went out, and then the starter went out, and the engine runs great. I think it's a four horsepower engine or something like that. It runs great, but um, but uh, I can't 
keep the engine, I can't get the engine started to keep it running so that I can diagnose it. And I just have too many things going on. And so this thing is going to another home. Where that home is, I don't know. I'll probably put it on, you know, some kind of uh, some kind of online thing, see if I can get rid of it for cheap, uh, or just, you know, give it away or something because I don't have time to mess with it. It's so pretty. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Check it out here too. My gosh. Yeah, I think I know where the vibration's coming from. Oh. Uh, you don't say. <laughs> coming up over the snowy pass. And there's none on the back. On the back of that one. Must have already come off or something. Picked up a couple saws. So fifty dollars. We got a DeWalt three horsepower radial arm saw, and it needs a blade. So the blade that's on there is really, really dull. So ordered a new blade for that, new blades for that. This DeWalt planer, <laughs> I, I've had this for several years and um, I, you know, I honestly don't know if it'll, if it'll hold up against all that we have to plane, but uh, we'll see. And then this little dude here, it just has a one horsepower motor. It's nothing fancy. It's an old Rockwell Delta, you know, thing that's it's gotta be, I'm thinking 40, 40 years old, something like that. Maybe, maybe 30, probably 40. And uh, so $50, you know, can't beat it. But uh, this is the beginning of our milling operation. We just have to get enough of these uh, milled so that we can build our eye joists and have good strong eye joists. So it's time to test our glue for the eye joists. Um, this is a resource and all glue. It's got for, uh, uh, formaldehyde in it. And um, <clears throat> I've got it. It's, it's been curing for I think five days now at room temp like, like they said it should. So what I have is two pieces that are abutted together, butt joinery, but inside are <clears throat> uh, wafers. I cut little gaps in there and put little uh, biscuit wafers in there to sort of hold the joint together and then press it together at at least 100 pounds um, for five hours and it's been curing ever since. So let's try it. I'm just gonna, I got this anvil here. If this glue is as good as they say, and if I've done this right, the wood should break before the glue joint does. So we'll let's see what we get. And door right here. Watch out, rubber. And it broke right and at it the, broke right at the, the joint. joint. Well, actually, no. It peeled. It peeled a layer of wood off of the biscuit joint or the biscuits so actually the wood did break before the glue at least where the biscuits are now where where they join together like this at the abutting joint well i don't know maybe i should have tried to break it the other way not sure would have made a difference but well we'll try it again later back to the drawing board still working on that glue issue I think it was a little cool the day I mixed that glue and it has to be, let me see, it has to be at least 65 degrees and your pieces have to be at least 65 degrees or you don't get proper, proper setting and curing of that glue. It's kind of picky that way. So I got to wait for a little warmer weather and then we'll try that again and see how well it holds up. Well, we had to pick up another Hobo Freight Predator engine for the sawmill because that brand new engine we put on there lasted about 60 hours and then started smoking 
and uh, diluting the oil with fuel, stuff like that, it it just uh, it bailed on us. But it's you know 90 days warranty. I don't buy extended warranties typically. 90 day warranty on that engine. I only had it. I didn't even have it a month. So I took it back and switched it out. We'll get that on the mill. So the mill, sorry about the wind. Uh, the mill, uh, give me an update on it. Um, because we had a delay getting blades, we weren't able to get through uh, much more. Um, we staged a bunch of logs here for Wormski to work on. He got through a couple before we noticed that the engine gave out and the clutch gave out. I don't know how many hours this thing was used before we got it. It's eight years old and we've had it for almost four years. Uh, you know, and just about all that time has been sitting here doing nothing. But um, anyway, uh, the clutch is gone in it and needs to be replaced. It, for all I know, it may be the original clutch. And we need some new belts in there. Um, I noticed also that the bearings, the guide bearings for the blade and stuff like that are starting to wear out. So I ordered a um, tune-up kit, you know, for this and a new clutch. I've uh, got the new motor that I just showed you. And so we'll get this up and running again pretty soon. We'll get all this done and all of that done over there. That is firewood. So just the long ones, what we're looking at. But this is uh, what we were able to get done. I should say Wormski was able to get done. And then we also picked up a couple of saws. We got them super cheap. Um, $50 each. $50 for that three horsepower radial alarm saw that we can use for ripping. And $50 for that little contractor's table saw over there that we can also use for ripping, although on only smaller pieces of wood. And then we've got a planer here where we're planing these boards. I'll show you. This is a piece of Engelman spruce that, uh, that we ran through the planer and milled it. And, uh, you yeah, know, it'll be fine. We have, um, we've tested this wood with nails and screws and it appears it'll hold a nail and a screw just fine. So it's, uh, it's, it's good enough wood for construction, which is what we're looking for because we're going to build eye joists out of this. We have got a lot of milling to do. This using the mill was just the beginning cutting planks out of these logs, but now we've got to put them into shape and on as you can see, a lot of this wood isn't very good. We're going to have a lot of waste. So that sums up our update. Thanks for watching. And uh, keep following us. Uh, we're just now starting to get into busy time here. The weather's getting warmer and we have a lot to do. So we've set ourselves in a good position to uh, get going here, building things and, and preparing things uh, for building. And so uh, we're really looking forward to it. So we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much.